Can, can you talk about your growth in this defense and what you're seeing from yourself? Oh uh, yeah. Um, uh, from year one to three, it's a big difference. I mean, just getting to uh, uh, learn under uh, you know a lot of guys that have been here from. Guys like AJ, Kiko, Alex, Demario. I mean, the list goes on. Juan now, um, and then getting to learn from Nolan and now Coach Hodges these past two years. It's it's been a, an absolute blessing, um, and I, I feel like I'm taking strides. I feel like I'm feeling a lot better. I'm starting to understand it more, uh, and it, it's great to start feeling that. Um, it's, uh, it's just a blessing to be able to work with and under these guys. Caden, you, you had a solid rookie camp when you came here. And obviously, you know, battling uh, injuries since then. How important is this camp in these preseason games, considering the opportunity right now at linebacker? Vital, I think. Um, you know, we got a young linebacker room. Uh, I know it's my third year, but I mean, I'm a young guy, like you said. Uh, had a good rookie year uh, last year, battling injuries, and um, this year getting to come back out. It's uh, it's a blessing. I'm super happy we get some preseason games this year. Get to go run around and hit. Um, and I'm really excited for the opportunity to take it. And I think, like you said, it's it's going to be super important. Hey, not, I could be wrong about this, but are, are the snaps you're getting with the ones at Sam, is that a, a big change in at least volume for you compared to the last two summers? Um, what was like, last part? Like how much time you're getting to spend with the ones at that Sam mm. position? I mean, were you rotating in at that position a lot? Um, past, last or? year, I, I rotated in a little bit at the beginning, um, but the volume has definitely gone up, um, and it's exciting, and, and I'm, I'm glad for that. Have you changed anything to try to commit yourself to playing that spot as opposed to, you know, the first? I know you always have to be versatile at that position. But. Um, I mean, definitely working very hard at the spot, at the technique, um, at the, the role that that is. Um, it is, uh, I, I say, a smaller role mentally. Um, and because of that, I'm uh, able to still focus on trying to do the outside linebacker and also hybrid at the inside linebacker um, to be able to do both here. Is there one you prefer over the other? Just want to help out the team play and, uh, and enjoy it. So, no, it's, it's good. They both have perks. Both of them are fun, and uh, it's a good time. What, what about adding more edge rush if you're at that same position? Is that something you're, you're going to do a little bit more of? Or? <laughs> if they want me to. I mean, I would love to. Uh, edge rushing is what I got to do a lot of in college. Um, I think it's one of my best traits. And, uh, it is something that we get to do at that same position. So um, if they want to throw that on my plate, let's go. <laughs> What's something unique to playing the same position on this particular defense? Um, I say it's unique because you kind of got to, I mean, know that your spots are coming. I mean, obviously we have a ton of really good DBs on this team. Um, so uh, it's not a every down thing. Um, but it, I feel like it is in vital situations, whether it be third and short, fourth and short, um, or we're playing a you know first preseason game being against Baltimore, a team that can run like that. Uh, you got to be able to match it. So um, there's going to be times where it's really useful and, and uh, where we really need to be able to have it. And uh, I think that's uh, kind of unique about it here. Kane, how is in, in the linebacker meeting room with Demario Davis and Quan Alexander? Great. They're, uh, they're so smart. And they're, uh, they're, they honestly have servants' hearts in, in the way that they really take the time to help the young guys teach. Um, you know, whoever they're around, they're kind of on separate sides of the room. And, Whenever coach is going over something, you're, one of them is always leaning over, trying to teach something to, to a guy, you know, fill someone in on something. Demario calls it his bags of tricks. He's like, all right, guys, I'm going to pull something out for you guys. And, you know, he'll take us through a technique, take us through um, eyes on something or a fit. And, uh, I mean, it's great to have him in the room. And special teams for Yes, um, it is. And, uh, you know, we got a great special teams unit here, and we have for the past few years, and uh, just excited to keep that going. You're a coach seems to have a, a certain style for conveying positive feedback after a play. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, he took a little too much pre-workout today, but uh, that, you know, we love the energy. And I'm telling you, Coach Hodges, I mean, I remember getting asked when he first got hired, like how I felt about it. And I just, like his passion, like it is, it's contagious, it's energetic, and he's such a good teacher. And he's got us flying around. I mean, Obviously, my third year, but it's the most comfortable I felt. And I feel like even the young guys here that are here for the first time, like, it's way less mistakes are happening than my rookie year, even last year. The way he's teaching it right now is is um, amazing, and, I, and I'm really happy he's our linebacker coach. Do you ever find that funny or ironic, considering he gives you all, all those books about being zen and stoicism and, and all of that? I do find it a little ironic. You know, <laughs> he's, a, he's a reader. You know, he's super smart and he's, he's kind of chill a lot of the times, but as soon as we get out here, he is sprinting and he better stay hydrated so he doesn't pull a hammy. Well, 
So he shows up on film running and jumping on people. He gets pointed out pretty much every meeting. <laughs> yeah, he's doing something, he's dancing. It's the same on game day too. You'll see him on the sideline, flexing, running, hitting someone. I mean, he is passionate. It's cool. Do you think uh, that personality lends itself in particular to a linebacker coach? Do you think that would translate anywhere? You know, I think it could translate anywhere. Um, I think it just kind of depends on how you know your guys, and uh, he knows us, and he knows how to get us going, and we love it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.